Well, just a few short weeks after Apple TV took out the top prize at this year's Oscars, the streaming service has released a new spy thriller series. Luxury cars, tailored suits, gadgets, you won't find them in this show. Just lots of action and drama. Weekend Sunrise movie man Jason Jabba Davis sat down with the cast of Slow Horses. You're going to help me? Oh, no, I'm not. Like it or not, Slow House is part of this now. What do you think you're playing at? The latest offering from Apple TV Plus is an espionage-infused drama. I didn't mean to kill him. Of course you didn't. If you meant to kill him, he'd still be alive. Slow Horses is a six-episode series based off the Slough House novels by Mick Heron. It centres around a ragtag team of British intelligence officers pushed aside by MI5. Only screw-ups get sent to Slough House. And I've got to be honest, working with you has been the lowest point in a disappointing career. Right. Oscar winner Gary Oldman stars as Jackson Lamb, the brilliant but ill-tempered director leading the group of rejected spies. You really care about them, don't you? No, I think they're a bunch of absolute losers. Joining Oldman is a decorated cast including Academy Award nominees Kristen Scott Thomas and Jonathan Price. Rounding out the company is Jack Loudon, Olivia Cook and Saskia Reeves. Come check this out. Hostage. She's being held here. There's something finally happening. Removing the gloss and shine that James Bond offers, Slow Horses is a grittier drama laced with suspense and action. It's just covering the tracks. But it's the covering of the tracks that always gets you in the end. Gary and Jack, great to have you company on Australian TV. Yeah, great. Yeah. Happy to be here. Yeah. I watched four episodes back to back and I had to tear myself away from the show. I'm saving the last two episodes like some kind of treasure. Does does it does the series warrant finishing? Does it does it pay off as much as it promises it looks like it's going to? No. Nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh yeah, yeah you yeah. need to watch the last two for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's such a chameleon of a show. It starts off as James Bond meets The Office and then becomes so much more. How do we explain the show to our audience coming in cold? Well, I think you've... I think yeah, you've quite good. I think you've done it. I like that. James Bond that becomes The Office that then becomes... La La Land, because of the sort of big dance number in episode six. The dance number? <laughs> Well, he's not seen it, so you say anything. <laughs> yes, but he's headed to a plane loaded with fuel. First passengers on the tarmac, man. Authorised. Apprehend suspect. Go, go. The series may come up short in the dance routines, but it will keep you on the edge of your seat. The first four episodes of Slow Horses are available now on Apple TV+. Plus. The final two rolling out in the next couple of weeks. I like the look of that. It's, I've watched the first four. Oh, yeah. It's one of those series that is it like it drip feeds you. Obviously, each time, each week, the episodes yeah. come out, and you're you are hooked. Oh, it's good. Really binge worthy. Okay, yeah. I'll wait till I get around it. it. It's really innovative and novel. I like Good it. Stuff. Okay.